Yo, what do you do YouTube? My name's Chaz and this is Skyline Smoke Blend. And today we're going to be testing out and smoking another herb. And that herb today is going to be known as, it's all the title, Wild Dogga, AKA Lion's Tail, AKA Leonidas Len uh, Lenoris, right? Something like that. So just like, just like how we did the, the, the Blue Lotus the other day, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be smoking it out of a bong. We're gonna be smoking it out of a pipe. And you can see in my ear, I have a, little, I got, I got a nice little joint rolled up. And we're gonna be smoking that too. I'm actually quite excited because I've actually never smoked uh, Wild Daga or Wild Daga at all before. I know, I, whereas previously with the Blue Lotus, I actually had already smoked it a couple times with the joint. So this is actually my first time, first time experience. So I'm kind of interested. You know, I've seen some videos online where, you know, it's where you see a couple of spectrums. I've seen people where they say that they get kind of a buzz and they, they, they get high off it. And I've seen, other, I've seen other videos where people or they kind of just feel more of like a relaxed, calming feeling. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see. Let's, let's see how, how I react. I, I imagine that, you know, I'll, I'll probably just have a, have a nice, calm feeling to it. Maybe I'll get like a little buzz in the temple area like like I usually do. Um, but yeah, you know, this, uh, just to give you guys a visual, this is what the herb looks like. Um, I love the color. You know, it's almost like a, like a dark orange, kind of like a blood orange. That's kind of like the color time and uh yeah this herb is actually native to south africa and you could smoke it have it in teas and some other ways too i believe but we're just gonna be going over smoking it today and in the future we're also gonna be uploading a, a video where we drink the tea and see if the effects are any different because like the blue lotus this does have psychoactive properties so let's see what happens so just like yesterday, out of respect, we're gonna start off with the bong because it's always the most fun, right? I think everybody can agree with that. It's like the that's the, that's the bowl I got loaded up for you guys, or for myself for that matter. Man. Okay, you guys see it's um the herb is kind of protruding out right now. Before I smoke it real quick, guys, I want to show you guys something. I've actually been kind of turned on to this um as of late. My friend put me on, I guess. And I think anybody who smokes, right? Anybody who smokes from a bong or a pipe, um, see these are called silver screens. Like it's like these little metal screens, right? And you put this, right? You're gonna you put that into the bowl, and then you put the herb on top of it. And what that does is not only does it help facilitate with airflow, it also helps keep your pipes clean. So I don't know about you guys, but we, I'm sure we all have dirty pipes that we have to throw it out because. You know, eventually the ash just comes through and you can't clean them same thing goes for the bong but with the metal screen on the bottom the herb and uh it doesn't go through so it, it makes it a lot easier to clean it's a lot easier to keep your glass clean so uh, i'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out and you guys can purchase some but yeah i thought that, that was kind of cool and for anybody who wasn't aware that that, that existed now you know all right no more bullshitting around let's get to it all right that's my lighter in the fucking house. Oh, okay. That's a very Chaz way to start the video off with my match breaking. You know, you gotta love that. All right, take two. Okay, cool. Take three. Okay. This is the one. This is the one. I feel it. Ooh, stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. And now the wick. The wick came through. The wick that I always make fun of. Yeah, no, be careful. All right, I like it. All right, guys. My first take. Ooh, hose blew it out. My first take on blue daga, blue daga, wild daga. See how it goes. Whoa, that was pretty good. Wow. Right from the beginning, when I was inhaling it, I felt the presence. By presence, I mean I felt... Let me put it like this way. When I smoked the Blue, Lotus, when I smoked the blue Lotus of the Bong yesterday, it, it came on light. This 
it came on harsh. I want to, but harsh seems like kind of like a negative connotation. I'm not saying it's negative, but um, this, you know, this really pulled up is what I'm saying. Like, I was like, whoa, I really felt that. Uh, I'll see what's left. Let me see what's left. I'll, I'll smoke the rest of it. Wow, that's pretty good. So the flavor has a flavor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it again so I really get an idea of what the flavor is. Kind of smoky, kind of smoky. Um, not bad though, not bad. By the way, if you guys wanna purchase this, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm careful talking. Hold up. If you guys wanna purchase this um, this hemp wick, the one that I always make fun of, I'll put, I'll put a link in the description so you guys check that out too. You guys want it for the memes, you know? Yeah, there wasn't was much in there. The metal screens are nice. And going forward, I, I'm always going to use them. But it does make the bowl size a little smaller. So keep that in mind, all right? But what I like about the screen so much is watch this. So the screen here, I'm just going to go boom. And look, it's already gone. Everything, right? And look, there's barely there's barely any, any residue on the inside. And that, you know, you kind of just, you guys know how it is. You just blow it out. We call that call that the end of the day, you know. Okay, so I don't know. I don't feel I don't really feel anything right now in this moment. I don't feel anything yet. I I might fill up another bong, another bong bowl at the end. Let's see, let's see how I feel, you know, because right now we're gonna smoke the pipe. Let's see if that's any different, and then at the end we're gonna go for the. The joint, which is my favorite, so get my little pipe here. We're gonna light up this match one more time. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's try again. Well, I I believe in these just inherently. I just I just inherently believe in them. Oh yeah, we like that. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Good hit. I don't think a little, a little sweeter, actually. It has a little bit of a, of a sweetness to it. Hmm. Interesting. But I still can't say that I'm feeling anything. Anything worth noting, for that matter, you know? I would say that I, I definitely felt more effects uh, smoking the Blue Lotus than I have so far smoking the Wild Doggo. But it's not over yet because we still have that one joint right here. Excuse me. It's hot in here, guys. You know, it's the summer. Holy crap. It's like a hot box. Inherently. Inherently, you know? Wow. Cold water in the summer is such a nice experience, man. All right, enough bullshit. Let's get to it. In the future, though, I you know I, I plan on mixing these herbs because like a you know, wild dog, uh, it um it is like 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 the lotus, 
mildly psychoactive so i'm interested in um in the future like uh trying out different blends in the sense that we're gonna we're gonna be smoking you know wild daga mixed with a blue lotus mixed with uh damiana you know you're gonna, that review is coming out very soon too i actually i actually i actually like damiana i've actually been smoking that one for a minute now Where's my joint? Oh fuck, it's in a canoe. Yeah, that. I don't know why it's something off the air, the air, air, um, the air fil filtration. Strange. There it is. That's the pull. That's the pull. It's canoeing a little bit, you know. Hey, it happens, right? We ain't gonna cry over it. I'm tasting the herb more, I think. <laughs> I was gonna say it tastes spicy. <laughs> uh, it definitely doesn't, though. You know what, but I, I feel a sensation, like a little bit of a tingling sensation when it, on my tongue. I, I think that's what I mean by when I say uh, it tastes like a little spicy. I like this though. I'm trying to really um, re recollect what I'm feeling in this moment. The taste is good. The taste is fine. I, I think people would enjoy the taste. Excuse me. But in terms of like um, actual feeling, I can't say that I, I feel anything, honestly. One mistake, one mistake that I made too was um, perhaps I didn't um, grind up the the, um, the wild dog up fine enough. I didn't I actually didn't grind it at all, believe it or not. I know that it um it is more of a fluffy herb in terms of the way it feels. For example, it it feels mm, closer to a, like a mullein. If anyone's familiar with like a mullein, it's it's more of a fluffy of a fluffy herb. If that makes sense. This is like a little strand of a reference. Like you see, like you know, it's almost like a little fuzzy. You know, it's a soft. It, it feels like Mulane, like honestly. I think it looks beautiful. Love the color of it, truly. And um, apparently, it's one of those um, herbs that, depending on the weather, like apparently, if, like, if you live in California, you can grow it year round. You know, um, I don't. You know, I'm an East Coast dude. Um, but I'm sure you have a backyard, uh, apparently, apparently it's, it's a, it's a low maintenance plant, you know? So I think any, essentially anyone can grow it. And I think the, the blooming, the blooming time is the summer and fall. So it's not too late, you know, if you guys want to start planting them. I like that. I like that. Ooh. 
Oh, he gets a little harsher at the end. You guys know how it is. It's a little harsher at the end. Not much love. I'll take the last few hits. Hot. That's hot. You know, man, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna roll up. Uh, I'll roll up. I'm gonna hit one more bong. Or I'm, uh, one more bowl of the bong. I feel like the first time, it, it, the bomb wasn't done. It wasn't done enough justice, if I'm being honest. Full stop. I'm gonna do this real quick, guys. Let me sweat it. Whoops. Guys, thank you for being patient with me. I truly appreciate it. But you know, you know what I appreciate more? I like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, we started off with the bong, and now we're going to end it with the bong, alright? How's it going? How's it going? Actually, I see that that one came out on video. Fuck. All right. That was pretty good. So overall, I mean, my experience with the the wild dog, the lion's tail. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, regardless, I enjoy the act of smoking. Period. So, just to be able to sit here. I have so I have my thing was still burning. So just to be able to, you know, sit here, talk to you guys and just you know, smoke some herbs. It's always a good time. You know, and for that it's always a positive experience, but for example, I made a reference to the lotus. Or even this this goes for air, you know, the mania. Or this goes to the cannabis users, you know. When you smoke, like example, like the Lotus, you, I, I said it, I said it in the video. Guys, by the way, guys, check out that video. You guys have it, you know. Um, I made a reference to the Lotus video that this is a nice herb where you guys wanted to smoke it, walk and talk with your friends, smoke it, listen to music. That, that'd be that'd be pretty good. You know, you guys have a, you guys have a, like a good time. Um, but I'm I, I'm not feeling any sensation particular. That I can name right now from the wild doggo. I'm gonna make a tea. I'm gonna make the tea and see if it's better because you know perhaps maybe you get you get better properties of it. But in terms of the smoking it, oh, the fly came in here. In terms of smoking it, I can't say that I felt anything that's worth noting right now. So yeah, um, no buzz. Definitely no high. Nothing. All right. But hey, you know, in the future though, we'll smoke wild dog again. But next time, next time we do smoke it, it'll be in a uh, in a herbal blend. We'll probably mix it with Damiana or Blue Lotus or both. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll mix it with some with some mint too, maybe for some flavor, or maybe lavender for that matter too. But uh, we'll mix it with something else next time. Perhaps maybe um, we get a little. I'll get like a different experience. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in once again. Stay tuned for this week's video because uh, we're, we're going to be posting like a Blue Lotus uh, tea review and the Wild Doggo review and some other reviews. You know, that's all we're going to post now. We're going to keep posting all these uh, fun, all, all that's all we do. We're going to post uh, um, a lot of videos how, talking about the, you know, having fun times with these herbs and um, trying out different experiences with them, right? So, once again, guys, thank you so much. This is Chaz with uh, Skyline Smoke Blend.